Consul General of Italy here in Chicago, Alessandro Monte, and together with Silvio Marchetti, the director of the Institute Italiano Cultura, we are thrilled to welcome all of you tonight. Uh, and uh, we are thrilled to host tonight uh, Beppe Severniani, the author of uh, Portland to Portland, the documentary that we are going to see in a few minutes, uh, that has been uh, uh, realized during last summer. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, documentary, it's a, a travel that Beppe decided to realize together with the uh, support of the Corriere della Sera, support of the Goethe Institute, support uh, of uh, La Sette, International Coming Up tonight, and uh, enjoy the event. Beppe, please. Alessandro and thanks, of course, uh, Silvio Marchetti, the head of the Italian Culture Institute. To see two Italian institutions that work together and get along well is such a joy. <laughs> this is a very special evening. I'm delighted to be here. It's a joy and it's a privilege. Yeah, I'm honest and um, not emphatic, but it was a real privilege to be here and to show you this unusual mix of reporting, current affairs, politics, and almost, f that is an element of fiction, because train, and this is a train journey, are a st train contains sort of narrative, and so you'll see that. And it's a privilege, as I say, to be here and do all these 36 hours before election day, in Chicago of all places, so thank you to the city of Chicago. Yeah, yeah. A couple of questions and we all go, but they were fantastic because you probably have noticed how relaxed I felt. I'm not an actor, I'm a writer, but I felt absolutely at ease in front of the cameras and they were always there before things happened. Do you remember when Gianni Lovato, the man with the Campari, came over? You, you, I looked surprised because I didn't know he was coming, but they, had, they saw him, they followed him. Wonderful. So, if you have a question for them, how it was working out. He's from Ticino, the man from Inglewood, and, uh, and Gian is from Milano. Any question? Then uh, come, come close to him. And I'll translate Gianni, and he speaks perfect English. He lives in Santa Monica, California, actually talks about nothing else. <laughs> everything was compared, and, and Bruce Springs, you know, everything was compared to Santa Monica, California. Oh, this is different. Of course, we're in Montana, it's different from Santa Monica, for God's sake. Any question? You choose where to stop and, and, okay. and do these little bits. Mm -hmm. That's or, for or me. Is there a whole, uh, okay, that, that's for me. Oh, and I'll yeah. answer that. Uh, and, and you, second question? Or? Well, that was too. Or why did you stop in Moy Fish? And A and B, how did you choose where to stop? I have to answer that. Uh, I think uh, I was the one picking up the stops. Uh, they had to be, I mean, we had to, to, to travel a certain amount of miles and then stop. And also we want some symbolic place, a rugby Montana, rugby North Dakota, but the geographical center of North America, and nobody had heard about it. And Fargo was too big, despite of the Coin Brothers. So rugby Montana. And it's luck, you know, Mount Malta, basically like the name. You know, I've been to a Malta in the Mediterranean, and I wanted to go to another Malta. And that's how they pick. So like, uh, glacier, sometimes there were great places, but they were too close, like Williston or Minot, probably was worth stopping. But you really had to pace, and of course we gave a lot of space to Chicago, because as you notice, and the reason, one of the reasons I mean, I love it, and, uh, and, it's, it's, and Cleveland, because it's very important, uh, politically and otherwise. So that's why, how we picked. Basically, we, we could pick 12 others, but we decided for those places. How was it a challenge? It's not a difficult, it's not a... Because it's the third year. The first year was Berlin to Palermo, Moscow to Lisbon, and this is our third journey. And originally it was just a video blog for Corriere della Sera, so Gianni has been there all three journeys, and, uh, and he joined this year for this television project. Well, it's not easy to do questi filmati perché bisogna correre sempre e bisogna tenere un ritmo ma ci sono dei, dei problemi tecnici
pubblici, bisogna stare più fermi possibile, cioè immagini più ferme, problemi di audio. To say that is a problem with the, with the audio and also of the moving, it would be nice to be steady, but you're not. Ma la cosa più bella è che ogni mattina non si sa cosa succederà. Ogni mattina non si, non si sa cosa succederà. C'è il classico foglio bianco e la storia nasce di volta in volta, prende forma. Nel mio caso col blog del Corriere entro la giornata doveva nascere un piccolo film, però sembra che sia riuscito abbastanza bene. Saying that every morning it's you start in the morning, you don't know what's gonna happen and uh, he, because his main job with the video blog for Korea is that quite a few of his interviews have been used in the film, in, the, in this film you've seen. And he said every morning is like a, some, uh, how do you say, a clean slate or... Uh, that, uh, and uh, it is true that was something we had arranged, some of the meetings were, had been arranged, so people were expecting, but not many. I think the nicest bit are the ones that are unexpected. That's what he meant. And I had to add something that Johnny, at the end of the day, would work until 2 or 3 in the morning every day in every motel you can think of or hotel or, or and he would edit, add the music and file. And so he was, it was very tough for him, very tough. He could work on it from a longer perspective. And let me tell you something, I was praising Alessandro and Silvio saying the consulate and the, the when the Italians work together, we are fantastic. Often we don't. So those two, if, if you work with two cameras, they don't like each other, they try to they, they, I love them, they're like, you know, the boy discussing their toys all the time, comparing. So it was wonderful, they really work together. No competition, they just work together for the same goal. Not easy, not obvious at all, at all. Everybody was welcoming, not suspicion, and they surprised us. So, we felt welcome and for an Italian and a European and a German Italian it was fantastic. So thank you, uh, America, and I thank you.